it's Kiana coming to you from Kiana's Creative Closet. Today I'll be doing a Shein and Boohoo haul. I picked up a few things, y'all. Let me let y'all in on a little secret. This is my second time recording this um, um, this segment of with, with the Shein and Boohoo. So um, hopefully things go right with this recording because I had put stuff away, went back and looked at the, looked at the recording and saw that. Um, I wasn't in focus in a lot of the clips as well as it was a lot of background noise in the background. So I'm going to try this again and see what we can do. See what we can do. Um, so first I'm going to start off with Shein because I only got a couple of pieces from Shein. So I did um, try Shein. No, I have not tried Shein. I have tried Boo before but I have never tried Shein. Um, so I did want to order a lot of pieces from them because I wanted to see how the quality was and how the fit was. Because I know it's a lot of um, she in hauls here on YouTube and it's like a hit or miss with most of them with the size. And so I went by the size shop that's on the website and most of the items fit true to size. So I would say if you are ordering from she in to go ahead and follow, um, take your measurements and follow the measurements the size measurements on their website so one thing i know another thing i noticed was she and i think i'm going to give them this is my first time trying them and i'm going to give them a second try because with these pieces that i got they're also pieces both um all three it's three pieces all three fit properly it's just the material on two that i don't like and it's my fault because i should have read the um, description to see what material these items were made of, made out of. So let me get the first piece. And the first piece is um, this shirt here, and the shirt says "Follow Your Intuitions," um, which is really really cute. It has the pearl details on the arm, and it, as you can see, it's a silver sparkly material, and it's see through. So, I got this in a 3X, a 3 extra large, and I did that because I wanted to wanted it to fit oversized. I knew that my sizing in this, if I wanted to fit like just a regular, um, maybe not fitted T, but just like a regular um, T, I would have got in a 1X. I got in a 3X for it to be oversized, but I, should have, I, I shouldn't have done that because this is not made to fit like an oversized T-shirt. And I should have got that tip when I watched Poppies and Bows video because I got the idea behind this shirt from her video. She had it on. It looked really cute. But when I went back to look at her video, she was saying that she did the same thing, ordered in a bigger size so it could fit oversized. And she said that didn't work out as well. But it's still cute. Um, it doesn't. It still fits a little oversized, but not the look. I wanted it to fit kind of long and oversized so I could probably build it. But it's not going to fit that way. But I... I can do with it. What I did not like about this shirt, and that's getting back to um, what I was saying in the introduction, is it's itchy as hell, y'all. When I tell you this shirt is itchy as hell, um, I'm thinking I can get away with maybe putting a tank top under it, but I still feel as though the arms are going to itch. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a try, and I'm going to see how I feel with it on for a while. If it if it's I'm just one of the type of people I can't walk around with something itching on me all day. So if it's too itchy I'm probably gonna have to um gift it to someone. But it's a perfect fit. The style of the shirt is really really cute. I just don't like the material. So sticking with that same same trend I got it also the same material same type of shirt but it's a different style with the kind of bow where you can tie like a kitten bow with a long um, detail here where you can tie a bow in the front or you can tie just in a knot and let it hang so this shirt is in a one extra large this shirt has the stretchy sleeves for my big arm ladies like myself and it's in that sparkly material as the last one now, I got this in the 1X because I did not want this to fit oversized. And this shirt fits perfectly. It fits really, really well. All of the pieces at Shein are, are affordable. So, the items that don't work for me, I won't be sending them back. I'll probably gift them to someone. 
Um, if you don't know, she in um, is a very affordable store, and they do have discount codes. You can find discount codes from some of the girls here on YouTube who um, are affiliates of Shein, as well as you can just Google Shein discount codes and it's not going to pop up because that's what I did. I think the shirts that I got, this shirt was no more than, if I'm not mistaken, $10 because I paid $33 with tax for the three pieces that I got. So this wasn't no more than $10. It's still cute. It's itchy, just like the other shirt. So again, I'll be putting a tank top on underneath these shirts to see how they feel. I just hate something rubbing against my skin. It's so irritating and irritable. And nobody trying to catch a rash. Um, um, try, try to wear an outfit. I'm sorry y'all, I got some stuff that didn't fail. So my next piece is this bodysuit here. So y'all, this is giving me all the Versace vibes, honey. Versace, you know when um, Biggie and Puff was in that video getting it, child. I'm telling you, this give you Versace vibes. And you know that's in there. You can find this um, design and that silky kind of Versace um, thing everywhere from Fashion Nova to boohoo, to she and it's just so many people doing it now. And I was, my first time seeing this actually was Fashion Nova. Um, I think in the summertime, it might have been before the summer, but I know during the summer I found a shirt that I really liked on Fashion Nova. I went back to get it and it was sold out of my size. So when I saw this shirt on she and I had to give it a try because it was girl little to no money. But the only thing about this bodysuit child is <laughs> the crotch area the crotch area is really really short and i don't know why because i'm i have a short torso i'm long at the bottom with a short torso so if this fit me weird in the crotch imagine someone with a long um torso it just fit so tight and just ill-fitted in the crotch area i'm still going to keep this i'm going to try to work with it i'm going to try to wear it as a shirt instead of a bodysuit so i'm not going to snap the bottom piece of this garment and see how it looks. Now, if it doesn't work and you can see the bottom part, I'm probably going to have to give this to. So, like I said, with the Boohoo, it was more of a miss than a hit. And not because, well, actually with this last piece, with the other two pieces, like I said, the fit was perfect. I just didn't like the material. So, I will be giving she in another try. But these pieces weren't that great. The style, yes. The style is perfect. But just the material stuff, even with the bodysuit, the material of that bodysuit is kind of thin and um, see-through, actually, up in the top area. I wouldn't mind because I probably have on a black bra with it, and I would not wear anything like that to work. But it is a... Uh, it's not of great quality, but you get what you pay for. I don't mind um, items like that that I don't pay a lot for being a little iffy with, you know, the fabrics. You just got to make things work. So now we're going to get on to Boohoo, y'all. So Boohoo, I had tried Boohoo before. I, um, Boohoo has gotten much better than it was when they first started out. When they first started out, I gave them a try, and it was like hit or miss with them as well. But the first um, time ordering from them, I noticed that some of the items fit very well, and some of the items didn't. And I'm not sure what they get, you know, who makes these items for them or who's their style. I'm not, I'm not sure. But here with the trying on these items, these items that I have gotten, um... Okay, y'all, so let's move on to Boohoo. So I have tried Boohoo before. I gave them a try when they first, um, around when, they, I guess when they first, well, well, the first time I heard about Boohoo was about two years ago. And I gave them a try then. That's when they first started hearing about Boohoo on YouTube. I gave them a try then, and it was kind of like 
a hit or miss. Some of the items I did like and some of the items I did not like. The sizing was just way off. I can say that Boohoo has gotten a lot better. Because I ordered from, as a matter of fact, I ordered from them twice in the past. The first order that I got, most of the items fit, fit well. Um, they fitted me really nice. But some of the items did not fit properly. And I got, I was, got my size, um, I was, back then I was a little heavier. But I got the size that I normally would wear in other clothes. Um, and then I ordered again the second time. The dress that I wore um, was not, <laughs> it wasn't cute at all. It, it looked really cute on the model and I saw it on another girl here on YouTube. But it, it just didn't work for me. The sizing was all over the place and the dress was very thin and see-through. But now, y'all, <laughs> now, I don't know who been talking to Boohoo or whether they get in, you know, they coins right. So, you know, they dealing with different, I guess, vendors. But now they is like spot on from sizing because I also follow their sizing guy from sizing to styles to quality of the pieces are uh, just really good now it's not going to fit you or, I mean I'm not going to say fit you but it's not going to be the top of quality it's not like you're going to the Nordstrom's and you get everything you get is going to be top quality no so it's kind of you have to choose what works for you and again you get what you pay for but again, they are very reasonable as well. You can find discount codes all over the place for Boohoo. But you don't really need a discount code for Boohoo because they always have a sale. Anywhere from normally 40 to 60 cents old. So the first piece I got is this jacket here. Yeah. Yes, y'all. Now, I didn't roll up the sleeves because I wore this last night. My godmother had a. Um, a birthday gathering and I wore this and if I can pull up a nice picture from last night I will insert the picture this is a size 16 US 16 and this was I think I got it on sale for twenty three dollars I'm going to try to put the prices in the description box if anybody is interested in how much these pieces cost but again, um, the prices are going to be a little off because their sales differ. You can get anything, anything like I said, for 40 to 60% off. But this is so cute, y'all. It does not have buttons. It's just like one of those um, thin, weight. It's thin weight blazers. It's not structured. It does have shoulder pads, but it's not a structured blazer. So if you're looking for a structured blazer, this won't work for you. Now, I'm the type, I love blazers. I love blazers in the fall and fall and winter. Even in the spring, I wear blazers actually over year round. But I'm a fan of structured blazers. So when I got this, I was skeptical with ordering anyway because I'm like, it looks structured on the model, but then I'm not sure. So when I got this, I was a little disappointed. But after I tried it on honey, I was like, I can make this work. Um, I'm going to cuff the sleeves and I'm just going to wear it open like it's meant to be. Or you can belt it, but I won't belt this. If I would have got it an extra size bigger, if I would have got it like in an 18, it would have been perfect belt it, belting it. But I got it in a 16 and it fits me kind of perfect. So with me pulling it in to belt it, it kind of, it does this weird thing at the bottom. So if you, if you don't like, um, you know, blazers that's, you know, just a little floppy because it's a little thin, but it works. You can always just get it oversized, build it, and make it work, you know, make it work. But that's really, really cute. I love that piece. I've been really feeling snakeskin, anything animal print, but especially snakeskin. I've been really feeling snakeskin um, this season, this fall season. I'm so happy snakeskin has came back out to do its thing. Well, even if when it's, when it's not a trend, I always wear animal print. Cheetah and snake skin is my thing. So the next, sticking to that snake skin, honey, is this snake skin blouse. It's like a, um, it's kind of like a boyfriend blouse. It has the buttons here. Um, it's short sleeve and it's a natural oversized blouse. 
and it has the cream and black like the one I just showed you is more of a brown cream brown a dark brown cream and black this is more of a just taupe um, cream color and black and it's really cute it's a size US 16 as well now this fits oversized it fits probably it fits like it's supposed to fit so um I say go with your regular size. If you want it oversized, don't try to go up saying, oh, maybe I get it a little bigger because I want it oversized. No, this is a true oversized shirt. So go with your actual size. Do not size down in this. But this is really cute. I had brought it because I got some leather shorts and I kind of wanted to wear it a little off the shoulder and tucked into some leather shorts. My next piece, y'all this baby here this mauve pink high waisted mini skirt how cute is that with the belt and it has this high B detailing here with the points now when I saw this skirt I wasn't sure that I was going to like it and I'm not big on mini skirts I'm just not that chick I got kind of bigger legs and I got a little bit of cellulite so I don't want anything <laughs> that's showing my imperfections but this was really cute I gave it a try I really like it this is in a size this is actually a US 18 and when you the try on when you see me try it on you notice that it is too big I should have got it in the 16 but I be a little iffy with pieces that don't have any stretch to it but a 16 would have worked perfect for me and this skirt. I was going to send it back and get the 16, but they don't have, they sold out and they had three colors, mauve, black, and like a greenish color. And they don't have a 16 in either of none of the colors. So I decided to keep it and I, I can make it work, but I'll probably put a cardigan on over top of this because the waist area in the back, you can see the gap in it. You can tell that it's extra big. But if I have something over top of it, you really can't tell. The only thing that I did not like about this skirt is the back has like this weird tank. It's this should have been mauve all the way around, but the back they put this tan in the back. So when you tie this, if you don't tie it perfectly. The belt is going to flip out and you're going to be able to see that tan. I just, the only thing I wish is that it would have been mauve on both sides of that belt. So my next piece is just a crop top. A basic black crop top. And I only got this, I think, I'm not even sure why I got this. I'm not sure if it was to add on I need a couple of extra dollars to have, get free shipping I'm not sure because I already got a couple of black um, crop tops oh man I'm not sure maybe I just needed some basics I'm not sure why I got it but I think it was only six dollars and I won't lie it's kind of a short crop top so for you ladies who don't like the crop tops they kind of fit right under your boobs I wouldn't get it because it is kind of short. Um, let me see what size this is. This is a US 18. Oh no, I was about to say, I don't wear no US 18, not at all. It's a US 14. I'm still going to wear it, rather it's, I'm, I'm just going to wear some high waisted pants, put it under a blazer and call it a day. One thing about me, if I brought it, I'm going to wear it. I'm going to make it work find some type of way to make it work okay y'all so my last clothing item i hope this is my last clothing item again this is my second time recording this video i had already put the stuff up put it away and noticed that the video just wasn't right, so I had to pull these things back out of my closet, back out of drawers. So I hope I got everything. Um, I know, uh, yeah, I hope I got everything. But I think I did. So this is my last clothing item. And it's just this long black cardigan. It's kind of long, so I'm 
so you're not going to see all of it in the frame. But you should see it with me trying it on. It has pockets. And it's an oversized grandpa, um, you know, like granddad cardigan. It does not have any buckets, buttons, I'm sorry. The sleeves are long. It's a heavy knit, so it's going to keep you warm. It's long. It hits you about, it's not a maxi length, but it hits, it's like a midi length. So it hits you to your knee. Hits you at your knee. I'm sorry. And this is a US 14 as well. I got this in the US 14 because it already said on the website that it was oversized. So I didn't feel as though I needed to go up a size to make it oversized because I do like my cardigans to be oversized. I don't, I like them, I like a cozy feel when it comes to um, cardigans. And most of my cardigans, I buy a lot of cardigans and a lot of jackets because my office at work, it be freezing y'all. Even, I have a, um, a portable heater in my office, and <laughs> it does nothing. It be freezing in my office, so, um, I always wear cardigans. I even keep a jacket there, just in case if I don't wear a cardigan or I'm wearing an outfit that, you know, I don't have a cardigan to go with. I always keep a jacket or a throw, uh, a throw or something to cover my arms. So, I got three accessories, y'all, but I did leave something out because I got a pair of socks, and they were just regular socks, fishnet socks, I'm sorry, so they had fishnet socks, and they had like a black and white border around the top, so I didn't bring those down, I had already put those away, so you won't see those in this haul, but it was just basic fishnet socks. So, another accessory that I got was this, what's this, leopard print belt. With the gold buckle here, and it's a wide. Um, this is kind of thick. I say maybe about um, two inches, about two inches thick. So, again, I'm in to animal print. I am in. I'm feeling it. I'm loving it. I'm loving animal print. So these belts, I know the belts were ten dollars. Um, most of them, mostly, I think all of them, just about all of their belts are ten dollars. So that belt was ten dollars. And I was only going for that one belt. I just, I've been searching for a leopard print belt. I had a leopard print belt in my cart, but before I could check out, they, it went out of stock. So, second result was um, the um, cheetah, cheetah. But I wanted a leopard print belt. But when I was going back to look for something else that kind of mimics, you know, the animal print thing, I found this, y'all. Do y'all see snake skin, y'all? I told y'all I was into snake skin this season. So, um, this one has a diamond um, design on the buckle. Gold with the diamond details on the buckle, which I thought was really cute. And these belts are um, one size fit all. I didn't get them from like plus size uh, boohoo. It is one size fit all. So, this one, is it this one or the other one? This one I can get up to maybe the third buckle, but the cheetah one I think I only can get it up to the first or the second. I didn't care. I'm going to wear both because they are cute. Um, you can't really tell because of the large um, buckle. You can't really tell that the belt just fits. Either way, I don't care. So, that concludes my haul, y'all. I hope that you enjoyed these pieces if you find anything that you like hit up she and a boohoo like i said they're affordable they are fashionable and they're on trend right now so um go on their site see what you can find i hope you enjoyed this haul please comment rate i'm not rate right, i'm sorry i'm sorry please comment thumbs up and subscribe all right